Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do a cute spring duckling. So let's get started. Are you my cute spring duckling? Yeah. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through all my materials. First, I have my Arches watercolor paper. I have my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors. I have my Princeton snap brushes. I have a size 12, a size 6, and a size 2 with me, and my water and my paper towel. Okay, so we're going to be drawing and painting um, a cute little spring duck. Usually when I draw animals, which is not too often, because they intimidate me. <laughs> I'm not the best at it. Um, what I do is I look up a reference photo on Pinterest. So I found this cute little photo of this cute little duck. So I usually find a real photo of an actual animal and I try and just look at it and recreate it that way. Um, and then I'll sketch it out first and erase it many, many times until it looks decently right and then uh, I will paint it in. So I don't know how much um, teaching I can do with the drawing part. I kind of just look at it and try my best. And like I said, I erase it many times, but I've already done an outline just because I wanted to make sure I got this all right on camera and you don't just see a whole video of me erasing. Um, I did a light outline, so I'll just show you quickly. I just did, I just do a small curved head right like so and then the beak comes out about just under halfway of the the head comes out and then there's like a little lip which this would be like the middle of the beak and then down like that and then a little line and then the eye the point is just kind of like parallel to this top part of the beak and just around like a little teardrop shape and then the body is fairly easy I'm just kind of come down and then in the actual photo they didn't really show the feet so I just kind of wung it winged it wing it went whatever <laughs> I don't know. wing it but past tense anyway winged it that doesn't make, I don't know. I'm tired. It's a late night. Anyway, um, but it has like about three, three kind of toes, I guess. Maybe not even. I don't know. You can always Google it and look up other pictures. And then what I do before I start painting, I just lightly erase the lines so I can still kind of see them, but I don't want to see them too much underneath my watercolor. So just mostly around the body because the body is yellow and it's pretty light colored. Like the eye and the beak I'll leave because it'll be a bit darker and a bit straighter of a, a painting line, but this is gonna be kind of like a fuzzy part of the duck, so I don't wanna have a straight pencil light underneath. Okay, anyway, so now we're gonna start wetting my brush, decent amount of water, I'm gonna put it in my yellow. I already have some yellow here, but I'll add some more. And I want a light wash of the yellow, so I'm using more water than paint. And I'm gonna do one layer of yellow, really light wash of yellow all over the duck, its body, minus the eye and the beak and the feet, okay? So you want it fairly wet, not so wet that it pools you don't want it like dripping wet, but you want it to be nice and wet because we're gonna go back in and blend and shade and all that jazz. Okay, so when you're shading um, animals or whatever you're doing, you kind of gotta pick where your light source is coming from. So in the picture, the light source is coming from here, which means the light is hitting this part of the duck and this part of the duck. So this is gonna be the lightest part and everything behind it is gonna be darker. So like under the chin, maybe the side of the face, underneath the duck, and then maybe like a wing here, and then maybe just closer to here. So it's gonna be a bit darker. So that's why you do the first part is gonna be a light wash, and then you're gonna go back in with your yellow. Bit more color I'm using. 
uh, yellow hue or something. And I think, what is it? Cadmium yellow and yellow ochre. I think that's how you say it. And I'm just gonna go back in, touch under the neck, kind of let the watercolor do its thing. Underneath, just adding a bit more water. You know, kind of do a wing here. Dry it off a little. Bring it around, just kind of bring it around because the duck is yellow, so you want most of it yellow. I'm gonna go back in with even darker yellow after to make those shaded parts really pronounced. And even around the head here. I'm just gonna wash off my brush while I go to the light part because it looks like it's starting to dry. Push some of that light water around. I apologize if I don't make too much sense sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I just talk and I don't make all that much sense, but in my defense, it's been a very long day. Just put my son down and I'm trying to explain this. So I'm doing the best I can. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my darker yellow again. The neck, the wing, underneath, maybe a bit by the beak, right by the eye. Okay, now that's a little harsh, so I'm gonna wash off my brush, dry it a bit, and just kinda move it around to blend it a bit better. <clears throat> okay and now because this is all wet what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to take my number six brush which is dry and I'm just going to flick out the sides a bit to get that little fuzzy texture going okay so this is dry and the paint here should all be wet I'll probably go over again because it's starting to fade. I'm bringing some of the color out. I go back in, wet it again. Just make sure it's still wet. So I continue, I can continue to add more shading. I always find that these paintings look a little funny at the beginning. Like this doesn't look great right now, but once you add the detail, that's when it kind of really comes alive and starts to look better, I promise. Just still moving it around so the, the fuzzies kind of go the way I want it to. even take a little bit of brown just to darken that little bit up underneath the neck here and underneath the wing maybe close to the feet maybe a little bit on the eye here I remember if you ever make a mistake or you put too much water on your brush or whatever you could always go Dab it with your paper towel, pick up the color while it's still wet, and then redo it. So <clears throat> it's 
one thing I like about watercolor. I feel like it's almost always fixable if you feel like you've messed up. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a bit. Now I'm gonna do the feet, which are orange. Some brown kind of shade around one side of each toe and one side of the leg. That's furthest away from the light. Like that. All right. Okay. And now I'm going to you would right now you would let it dry, but just because time sensitive for this video. I'm just going to use my heat tool to dry it so I can show you the next part. So I'm just going to heat it up and dry it up. I'm gonna go in and do the beak. Actually, first I'm just gonna go around the eye with a bit darker yellow. I really like it that line. And I'm gonna go in with black after. Okay. So now the beak is actually kind of like a peachy color. Now the peachy color I had before was a very bright pink, so I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna make a new peachy color. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some of my pink, put it in this yellow, there we go. Won't be as vibrant. The peach here that I had mixed had opera rose, which is a really, it's almost like a neon pink, so that peach was gonna be a bit too bright for what I wanted. There we go. And I'm just gonna go back in and make it a little darker. And some parts I might even take a bit of brown. Just like that. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry a bit. Now I'm gonna, before I do the eye and the detail on the beak, I'm gonna do some feathers. Okay, so I'm gonna take some brown and yellow and I'm just going to, not feathers, sorry, just like little lines to kinda, this is our first layer and now I'm gonna do the second layer. Actually, I'm just gonna take yellow. And just little lines to make it look like it's the little duckling fur or whatever hair whatever they have And then I'm going to go back in with the brown, just go where kind of the darker parts are again.
Okay. And now I am going to do the eye, which is black. So make sure it's all dry around the eye before you do it. Otherwise the black will um, bleed into whatever wet paint is surrounding it. Which in case if that happens, again, just use your paper towel to quickly mop it up if you can. Okay, and now the next part I'm going to show you is, hold on, is the beak dry? No, the beak's dry, hold on. I'm going to just do the detail on the beak. So I'm going to take that brownish peaches, peachy color. Just a bit darker and then just kind of go around the beak just to kind of outline it. that there now the eye will look a little bit better we are going to add a little white piece so it looks a little bit kinder kind of looks a little scary right now <laughs> but before we do that um i'm just going to i, I need that to dry first i'm going to take some of this white paint that i have um, this is dr ph martin's bleed proof white ink it's my favorite white paint to use uh, but if you don't have this, uh, you can use white gouache, white pen, whatever you have. And you're just going to add a bit of white. Now, if you're interested in this, um, they do sell it on Amazon. It's about 10 bucks for this, but I've had this forever, to be honest. But it's my favorite favorite white ink. I've used it for calligraphy. Um, tons of my paintings where I need like highlights or whatever. It's a really nice pigmented white ink. So I highly suggest it. And a little bit of... Mm -hmm. Like that. And then the last part, but not least, is the eye. I'm just gonna make sure it's dry before I do the little part in it. There we go, just make sure it's dry. That was white paint. I'm gonna take my small brush, my white paint, and just do a small little part with that. And there you go. And it looks a little kinder, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Actually, I might just add a little bit of more white around the face too. Right on the face. Okay. And that's it. And that is your cute little spring duckling tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys, bye.